everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and those who ordered a Tesla using my link. Consider being a patron of this channel. Today I come to you from New York City and we are going to follow up on a story that broke last week regarding Walmart swing Tesla for uh, fires on rooftops of seven Walmart stores. But before we get into that just a bit, uh, I've never heard of it, I just read about it. It's something called Project Titan, some kind of a secret project that Tesla have conducted, replacing many uh, connectors, now optimizers, uh, and those, are, those uh, components are responsible for the uh, energy supply between the solar panels and the uh, and the uh, inverter into the uh, facility, uh, and um, really, really a uh, significant amount of uh, these connectors and these optimizers uh, being replaced. Where? I don't think the report said. Uh, was it also in um, in uh, Walmart stores? I don't know. But be that as it may, like I told you last time, I am. Uh, I do have uh, solar panels that actually was in, were installed by uh, Solar City before um, before it was uh, bought by Tesla, and I tell you they did an impeccable job. I I go on the roof all the time. Just a reminder that Walmart uh, is suing millions of dollars from Tesla. Tesla has not made a response. Like I said, seven stores between uh, 2012 and 2018. One store in Ohio was uh, closed for uh, eight days uh, with damage of about three to six million dollars. Uh, this, talking about 244 uh, Walmart stores, and in some cases, even though the, the, solar, the solar system was disconnected, still, uh, uh, still uh, fires did occur. So, listen, I, I, I don't want to I don't, know if, I don't know if I have an opinion about this yet. I just want to say that I, I, I have not researched, and I will, uh, solar panel fires in general. You know, in general, I, I'd like to know that. I will, I will go into that. If you have any information right uh, top of your head, you can put it in the comments. So I don't know how widespread that is. Solar panels fire, solar panel farms, do they go on fire? I just want to say that I'm very skeptical about these things. It's just like the several uh, Tesla car fires that happened, and they all made national news, uh, you know, uh, as if this is what happened all day when 30,000 gasoline car fires happen here, and you don't hear it unless it closed the major highway. So I'm not saying that something was not wrong, and I'm not saying uh, that, you know, somebody said it on fire, I don't know. Uh, Walmart talks about gross negligence. Uh, I, we, we know that Tesla have, in their cars for sure, had a lot of uh, quality control issues. They are significantly better now than before. We know that service centers have issues. We know it's their growing pain. But in this case, it, I'm not, I don't want to imply one to the other, because Solar City was completely independent from Tesla and they were one of the biggest solar installers. Having said that, we don't know. So I don't I, I don't know the point I'm trying to make, I don't know why it got to a lawsuit. That's the point. Why? They couldn't like make any arrangement. I have no idea. So we'll keep um, we'll keep uh, uh, talking but back to the beginning the project Titan replacing almost secretively all these connectors, that's interesting, meaning they were acknowledging that something was not installed properly. Properly, that's the point. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll continue to follow this story for you and I'll give you updates. So long from New York City getting on the George Washington Bridge in a minute. Bye bye, everybody.